Okay, let's talk about the winning song. Something completely different for, for, for Italy. I, I'm, I'm, I struggle to think what the closest song that Italy has ever entered. In fact, I'm going to ask Christina, what would you say is the closest song style-wise to, to the one that we have entered, that, that, we're, that, that hopefully we'll be entering this year? The, um, I, you mean the closest Italy song? Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> My God, no, uh, I I I couldn't say because it's the first time we enter a rock song, and uh, this is something completely new for us. And well, uh, it was time, but I don't think any of our other songs have uh, anything to do with this one. And okay, this so so in that case, um, a boy and girl band. How far back do you have to go? Oh, the 1970, 79? No, no, no. I, I think Italy has never, never, never entered something like this. Anything like this. And, uh, and this is what I particularly like about our entry this year. I mean, it's, uh, it's something completely new. And no, there's no other entry like this um, by Italy. We have had pop and we have had uh, pop opera and jazz and anything, but rock, never. And, and welcome, welcome to, we've still got people joining us in, in the chat room. We thought we were going to be doing this show entirely on our own, just for our own amusement. Um, um, we're absolutely delighted with the, with the response. Well, apart from Michelle, who might possibly have wished that she hadn't fallen asleep. <laughs> Would you like to go off and do your makeup, girl? What's wrong? I'm beautiful just as I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have you not looked in the mirror recently? <laughs> Don't know what you mean. <laughs> My wife is just gorgeous. <laughs> yes, we can tell that because you look like you've had a lot of um, fun this evening. Oh, yeah. looks at your face, Phil. They're, they're a week old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have to say, though, I think this is the right decision in terms of going to Eurovision. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think you were saying about what, was, what, was the, what went wrong for Ermel. The problem, what went wrong for Ermel was it was a ballad and there was a sea of ballads. And there was a lot of competition in the ballad area. Whereas this is a rock song and it completely stood out. Yeah, if you look at what's already gone through to, to Eurovision already, I mean, you've got, um, is, it, is it Finland? Yeah, Finland, yeah. <laughs> you got Finland that, that sound like Linkin Park, that are a rock band. But these are completely unique. Mm. They don't even look like a rock band. They dress. You know, they dress like a modern band sort of thing. Mm. You, you know, it's quite contemporary and fresh and, and it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. There's nothing that sounds like this at Eurovision. It will stand out a mile. Yeah, one thing I would say is uh, the other night you asked, did I think that Italy could win Eurovision, and I said no. I and said now, no. And now I've changed my mind. This could win. Yeah, but I, I, I really didn't think that the Italians would vote for, for Maneskin at all. Mm. But I am so glad they did. It's fabulous. If I may say, the best thing for fans of ESE fan TV is that Phil and Michelle will undoubtedly be dressing up in those um, <laughs> body suits. <laughs> They, yeah. In fact, I'm surprised yeah. that they've not got one already because I'm sure they've got them somewhere in the making. <laughs> but we, we invested in the roop and now this is yeah, yeah. And he's, he's just thrown everything yeah. wide open. I paid two pounds for a ball cap <laughs> for him, and now this is I'm not happy. <laughs> it's the Phil and Michelle ESC Fan TV Maneskin Challenge, I think, is coming out. Oh, no. oh, there's not enough grey paint in this world that'll cover all my bits up. <laughs> But I mean, Ian and Donna, you're you're very welcome to dress up like Maneskin as well. I don't think you want to see me dress. Probably like not. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all, me and Lena, however. Yeah, I'm, I'm already well, shopping, baby. I'm already shopping for that new metallic beaded suit. We Would you like that. to hear a fun fact about yes. Maneskin's outfits? Go on. Um, for this San Remo competition, they had the same stylist as Achille Loro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once I heard that, once I saw he was doing it, because I follow him on Instagram, uh, I was very excited about 
the level that they were going to be coming with on the outfits and it was just off the charts and honestly i i assume all things going as maybe as best they could he'll probably stick with them for eurovision